Hello friends, today this is my video for tenses. In this video we will learn about tenses. My earlier video which was related to tenses but it was in Hindi medium. So this time I have come up with one another video on the same topic tenses but this time we are going to learn tenses in English. This is the video in which I'll tell you the easiest way to understand tenses. This is the easiest and logical way. Now, whenever we talk about tenses, the first thing which comes to our mind, what do we mean by tense? So, let's begin with the same thing. What is tense? Now, Tense is the form of verb which tells us about the time of an action. So, according to this thing, tense is nothing but it is the form of a verb which tells us about the time of an action. Just as let's see the example. He plays football. Now in this sentence, this verb form tells us that this sentence is of present time. This is of present tense. That means this playing of football, it takes place in present. But when we say he played football, this means this verb played. It is telling us that now we are talking about an action which took place in past. This verb is telling us. So they are going to tell us about the tense. So now let's discuss verb forms. When we talk about verb forms, we have four verb forms. First form second form, third form and we can have fourth form also. Only to understand tenses, all the tenses very clearly. The first form is present, second form is past and third form is past participle And fourth form is present participle. That means if we take one verb just as we are taking right, wrought, written, but present participle first form plus ing writing on the base of verb forms now this is little bit surprising thing that we don't have three tenses in English in English we have present tense and past tense there is no future form there are only two forms one is present one is past so the form of verb is Tense. Present form is there, that means present tense is there. Past form is there, that means past tense is there. Past participle, this is not verb actually. It works as an adjective, that means this is to show the completion of any action and this thing shows the continuity of any action. So all these are uh, adjectives. So we are not discussing these things, we are discussing only present and past tense. Future is only a time. Future is not a tense, it is a time. Let's see one example. He is going to see a match on next 
settled. That means in this sentence is going. This verb shows that this uh, sentence is of present continuous but here on next Saturday this shows future time. This is present continuous tense. So future time can be expressed with present tense. Sometimes it can be expressed with present simple. Sometimes it can be expressed with present continuous. And sometimes it can be expressed with helping verbs just as modal verbs will and shall also. So these are only the models. They tell us about the mood of the sentence that this sentence is of future time. Now let's discuss the tenses in a logical way. Here I would like to tell you one more thing about auxiliaries. Let's discuss the auxiliaries. Basically we have two auxiliaries. Auxiliaries. How many? Two. Which one? Primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. In modal auxiliary as we know that uh, there are can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, all these are there. In primary auxiliary we have only three auxiliaries. First one is do, second one is be and third one is have. Do, be, have. There is a purpose behind them. Why do we have only three auxiliaries? First do. This is for indefinite tenses. B. This is for continuous tenses and have. This is for perfect tenses. In this way we can say that the fourth part which is called which is known as uh, perfect continuous will use have and be both for perfect for continuous so that will combinedly make perfect continuous for us now after discussing auxiliaries we will discuss ing form and third form just as suppose I am writing a sentence I saw a burning house it shows that the action of burning was going on I saw a Brunt house. This brunt shows that the action of burning was over. It was completed. That means this shows perfection and this shows continuity. So we can say that ing is always used in continuous tenses and verb third form is always used in perfect tenses. Now I would like to tell you one more thing that with singular subjects we always use singular verb. Just as if I am writing he, I use is. I never use are with he. If I write they, I use was. It will be wrong. We use were, which is correct according to plural, according to singular. We use singular verb with singular subjects. Let's discuss the tenses in detail now. Our first tense is present tense, and second one is 
past tense present tense past tense present tense is verb first form past tense means verb second form let's have our auxiliary verbs also here only let's write them first one is do second one is be and third one is have that means it is for indefinite it is for continuous tenses and this one is for perfect tenses now in indefinite sentences when we discuss about present tense we use only first form of verb that means in this indefinite tense we are not sure whether the action is going on or the action is completed or some part is completed and some part is still in progress that means this indefinite is not definite we are not definite here about the progress of the action in this we use only first form of verb and here we use only second form of verb now if we are going to make it negative that means we'll take help of our auxiliary verb that is do it will make do not and singular form of do will be does in the same way we make singular forms of verb first form by adding s es or replacing y with i and then we add es if there is y at the end and y is preceded by a consonant just as verb is try verb is fly that singular will be c r i e s f l i e s flies tries so we make singular form for singular subjects third person singular subjects and here do not or does not when we have used do not or does not now we will use only first form of verb that is bare infinitive let's move for past tense verb second form means past tense now we want to make it negative we want to add not here but we want to use this auxiliary so we have to take second form of this auxiliary and that is did did not then we'll have only base form of verb and we will have our past indefinite negative let's discuss interrogative in interrogative sentences we take do or does before the subject and then we use verb first form here we take did then we take subject and then we use only first form of verb after that object or extension those things are used and we'll discuss extension and object what is the difference between object and extension which word is known as extension and which word can be defined as an object we'll have another video on that thing let's discuss this thing only now when we have done indefinite now let's move for the continuous as i told you verb first form plus ing this thing shows the continuity now here when i write verb first form plus ing this is continuous but which continuous we want to make it present continuous 
and for continuous tenses we have b to help the main verb now main verb we have converted it in present participle that means the fourth form we have converted our main verb in fourth form present participle to show the continuity and for tense we are taking our auxiliary verb b so what is the present form of b present form of b they are is am are this is the present form of b so is am are then we use verb first form plus ing this is continuous and this first form is present so both are going to be present continuous if we want the negative we use is not am not are not and then verb first form plus ing if we want to make the sentence interrogative we can take is am are before the subject accordingly now here the same thing verb first form plus ing this is continuous but which continuous we want we want past continuous and what is the past form of b or what is the past form of is am are obviously that is was were was were was is the singular verb is the plural now was were is the verb second form verb second form means past and past plus continuous it has become past continuous as we used uh, not with ismr will use not with was were as we took ismr in interrogative sentence before the subject we will take was were before the subject in interrogative sentences this was our continuous present continuous past continuous let's discuss perfect tense which one perfect now as i told you verb third form is perfect this form shows the perfection now let me write here verb third form that means this is perfect this is perfect but with perfect we have helping verb have have present form of have have and singular is has then perfect that means then we are going to use verb third form so this is first form that means this is present this thing is present and this thing is perfect both are making present perfect in the same way let's make past perfect verb third form that means perfect now we need past perfect for perfect we have the auxiliary verb have what is the second form of have obviously it is had have had had so we have taken verb second form that means past now what we are having past perfect so in past perfect tenses we use had plus third form of verb in present perfect we use have plus third form of verb if we want to make negative there will be the same thing as we used not with is am are we used not with do does we used not with did we used not with was were will use not with has have and then we will use third form of verb 
here we will use not with had and then we will use third form of verb. If we want to make interrogative, we will take had or has have before the subject and third form of verb will remain after the subject. Now, as we have done these tenses, we are going to do perfect continuous. Now, just try to understand how we can make perfect continuous tense. For perfect, we have the helping verb have. For continuous, we have the helping verb be. That means we are going to use both the helping verbs perfect and then continuous. And then we are going to use ing form to show the continuity. Let's see. When we talk about present, what are the present forms of have? Obviously, they are have and has. Have is plural, has is singular. And then we are to use the continuous helping verb. This is be, but has and have. They take third form. What will be the third form of be? It is been. Now, with B, we can use ING form. What ING is? Continuous. What third form is? Have in third form. What third form means? Perfect. And what have and has shows? This is the first form that means present. So, what we have now? Present, perfect, continuous. In the same way, we are going to develop past perfect continuous. What is the second form of have? Obviously, it is had. And then, third form of be because had will take third form. This is what second form, that means past. We have done past. Now we are to make perfect. For perfect, we are taking be in third form. That is being. This is verb third form. That means it is perfect. And after be, we can use verb first form plus ing as we have used here in continuous. But here we used with first form, here we used with second form, here we have used with third form of B, the ing. It was past, it was perfect and this one is verb first form plus ing, that means it is continuous. What we are having now? Past, perfect, continuous. That means had shows past, been shows perfection, perfect and ing shows continuity that means continuous so we have past perfect continuous now in this way if we understand the tenses they are very easy they are very very easy that means it takes only first form verb second form this is present this is past and this first form and second form do, be, and have. We must play with do, be, have, verb first form, verb second form, and verb third form for perfection, and verb first form plus ing for continuity. progress. So, this is my idea regarding tenses. Please let me know what do you think about uh, my idea, whether this one is effective, logical or not. And please subscribe my channel and let me know about my mistakes so that I may improve myself. I may give you much better videos next time. Thank you for watching.